With the release of Creo 3.0, users will experience a new modern Simulate results interface. Accessed through Creo Simulate or Creo Parametric, the new interface boasts a number of enhancements, most notably the Creo Standard Ribbon user interface. As with other Creo apps, users will benefit from a logically organized interface with commonly used tasks sorted into application-specific ribbon tabs and groups. This new interface is easy to learn and use, lowering the learning curve for new users. Alongside the new ribbon interface, users will also be able to leverage the search command field to search and highlight commands throughout the simulate results window. As I start typing in the field, the available commands will be shown. As I highlight my mouse over the command, it will highlight in yellow the specific functionality in question. New commands have also been added or consolidated to improve a user's proficiency with the tool. Let's take a look at a few of them right now. Under the View tab, we can see a new option called Continuous Tone. With the Displacement Magnitude Fringe selected, if I select on the Continuous Tone, we immediately see that the tone will change to Continuous. In the past, I would have to go edit that specific results window and define it within the results window definition dialog. Now we can do it directly from within the View tab itself. Additional commands within the View tab are capping and cutting surfaces. Again, we've consolidated this functionality into a specific group where we can create a new capping or cutting surface, edit or delete them. In addition, we've also created new means of managing the window from creating cascaded views or even hiding specific views in question. Other improvements to the simulate results interface are within the graphics window itself. As with previous releases, users can open a number of docked simulate results windows. While only one docked window can be active at any time, users can easily select a defined window to activate it. As you can see, as I select on each of the given results windows, they become active and highlighted with a blue border. You'll also notice that as I select a specific window to activate, the In Graphics toolbar will be displayed, providing common commands such as refit, repaint, and name views. Users will also be able to access a series of new commands via the right mouse button to improve their ability to perform certain tasks. Whether it's finding model max, defining a new cutting or capping surface, or showing the specific window in full screen, users will quickly be able to execute the command without selecting it from the ribbon tab itself. Regardless if you are a new user or an advanced user, the new modern interface and functionality of the Simulate Results window will drastically improve your ability to inspect your analysis, validate your design, or identify areas in your model that need improvement.